what's up people welcome to your seventh 3d studio max tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to hide freeze objects and also how to work with layers so I started a new right here so let's go ahead and create something like two boxes and put those over here and we will create uh, I don't know create two spheres over here and uh, just go ahead and move those up Go ahead and move those up above the plane just because oh there's no really reason to just do it and now let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial so you can go ahead and hide and freeze objects now when you freeze an objects or freeze an object it prevents it from moving or being selected but it's still rendered out and when you hide an object it hides it from view and also it's not rendered so if you're wondering, all right, how do I do this? In order to hide or freeze an object, go to Tools and go ahead and go to Display Floater. And now this brings up your pretty much Hide and Freeze panel. So now if you go ahead and click an object, like I said, you can go ahead and freeze it under this section and put Freeze Selected. And as you can see, anything that's frozen, it turns gray. So you can take this one and freeze it too. So Freeze Selected. And now you can see, like I said, anytime it's frozen, you can't move it with the mouse. So let me try ahead. Let me go ahead and try to select this. Can't select it. Can't select either one of these. Can't move them. I can select these, but I can't select these. So let's go ahead and unfreeze all, so we can unfreeze everything. And now let me show you what hiding it does. So go ahead and click an object and go ahead hide selected. And what that does is not only hide it from view. But it also, whenever you render it out, that object will not render. So you can hide a bunch of objects, hide selected, and then whenever you want to have them pop up again, just go ahead and press unhide all. And then unhide all of them, if you couldn't guess. It's pretty easy, but that's pretty much how you hide and freeze objects. So that's all you need to know for that, pretty much. The other thing I want to show you is about layers. Now, in order to work with layers, you need this little layer toolbar right here. And if you don't have it already, then what you need to do is go to Customize, Show UI, and Show Floating Toolbars. Then the Layers toolbar will pop up and you can dock it in your main toolbar up here. So I'm not going to click it or a bunch of toolbars are going to pop up, but you do, you do that and get all your layers. I'll wait for you. Did you do it yet? Did you do it? Alright, you good to go? So now you should have this toolbar that popped up uh, along with 80 other toolbars. And I'll show you guys how to create new layers. And also, you'll see why new layers are useful. So at default, everything is in your default layer. All four objects we created. Bam, 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 bam. But say we want to separate these objects in the layers from squares or cubes to spheres. So what we need to do is go click create new layer which is the three pieces of paper with a little star on it and then we got a new layer and we'll name mine balls can't name it spheres because spheres isn't funny at all we gotta name it balls go ahead and click OK now go ahead and select an object and you need to hit this add selection to current layer then go ahead and select this and click add selection to current layer so now we got these two balls in our layer. So let's go ahead and create another layer for the cubes. Create a new layer and create cubes. Press OK and do the same thing. Add this to the layer and add this to the layer. Now if you're wondering, all right, pretty much how can we see all these layers? Well, I'm just going to show you. Enough talking. Uh, go ahead and click on Manage Layers. And now you can see that you have a default layer with no objects in it and you have if you click this little plus sign next to balls you have sphere 0 1 and next to cubes somehow I got sphere 0 2 in there just go ahead and cut that and paste it in here so we got our two spheres in balls and our two boxes in cubes so this is pretty much how you can work with layers easier if you're saying alright what's the point of layers just for aside from giving me a tutorial on them well if you go ahead and collapse those again what you can do instead of hiding or freezing individual objects you can now hide and freeze entire layers so look at that if you want to freeze all of your cubes go ahead and freeze cubes if you want to hide all of your balls go ahead and hide both of your balls and this is just an easy way 
that you can work with a group of layers. So say for example you have a huge, anima huge animation with a portion of things that you don't want to um, accidentally mess up. Just put them all in the layer and freeze them and then you can't move them around no matter what. So in order to delete a layer you need to meet two cri criteria. First of all no matter what, well I'll show you first. First of all it needs to be empty so go ahead and cut the objects out of that and paste it in default and as you can see this cubes layer is empty right now but if we go ahead and try to put delete highlighted empty layers we can't that's because there's a checkbox right here go ahead and check another layer and then you can delete it so you can't delete any layer that has a checkbox on it or if it has something in it so again if you want to delete this layer balls you just can't highlight balls and press the X you have to cut everything out of it paste it into somewhere else cut paste because you know it has to go somewhere it just can't you just can't delete a layer and all your objects are going to delete and then make sure it's not checked highlight it and then go ahead and press the delete highlighted empty layers button and no delete highlighted empty layers pretty simple so that's your pretty much let me think if there's anything I forgot I've already covered that pretty much, so yeah, that's it. That's it for this tutorial. You finally made it through it. I know it was tough, but uh, thank you guys for watching. If there's anything I forgot, I'll just put them in the next tutorial, but I think I covered everything, all the basics at least. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next tutorial.